tonight we will, we are here to honor the life of Chance Wilson and pray over the lives of Kiera Freed, Anicia Powell, and Kelly Curry, the Alabama A&M students that were victimized to the shooting in Panama City Beach. We ask that you silence all cell phones and give everyone on the program your full attention. Can we bow our heads, please, for a word of prayer? God, we come before you, God, and first we want to say thank you, God, for this day that you've blessed us with, God. We realize this is a day that, God, we've never seen and that we'll never see again. So, God, let us uh, take full advantage, God, of your many blessings, God, in this day. Father, I thank you, God, that in the midst of a tragic situation, God, that you are still good. And, God, even as the psalmist says, we will bless you at all times, and your praises will continually be in our mouths, God. God, right now I pray for the victims, God, Kiaria, God, Anicia, God, and Kelly, God. I thank you for the recovery, God, that they've experienced, Father, and I pray uh, especially, God, for the young lady who was shot, uh, God, in, in the head, God. We know that you are a healer, God, that you can restore, God. God, you created her, and if you created her, God, we know you have the power to heal her body. So, God, we just thank you, God, and we just claim victory over this in your name, Jesus. God, for the, the man who shot uh, the gun. God, I, I pray that you have mercy on his soul, God, that you would bring him to a place of repentance, God, where he would see, God, the error of his ways, God, and he would turn, uh, God, from that and turn to you. God, I pray, God, for every family that's been affected, every friend that's been affected, God. God, it's never good news to hear, God, that our loved ones, our friends have been hurt, but God, still, we proclaim that you are good, and your word says you're the God of all comfort. So I pray that you comfort us all, God, as a body of students, God, faculty and staff, and family and friends. God, we uh, come under, God, the pinion of your, your wings, God, your shadow, God, and we bless you, God, for what you're doing and what you shall do, even in this situation. God, we give you all praise, honor, and glory for these and other blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Tonight we gather as a family and we gather as a community to observe a vigil. I want to thank Ms. Jasmine Story, our president of the Student Government Association, and all of the student leaders and student affairs for putting this vigil together. Thank all of our alumni and other community supporters. Particularly thank you students for being here with us this evening. Our faculty, our staff, cabinet members, administration. I'm pleased to have joining me Trustee Chris Robinson and First Lady Abigail Hugeni for being here this evening. We come together for a visual. The visual provides a setting where we can meet, where we can support each other, and we can pray for understanding comfort and healing. A visual is also a time we come together to proclaim victory. Victory over forces and events that try to change the way that we live. Victory over those who would injure others in a reckless fashion. Victory over violence in our society. Victory over fear that we have in living. Victory over sickness and disease. And we are here to claim victory for the healing of our students, Anicia, Kiera, and Kelly, as well as the other victims, Tykeria, Hinton, Devonta, and Jacole. But how do we achieve this victory? The answer is found in Psalms 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. We have victory because we have a refuge, someone who provides us protection and covering. We have victory because in times like these when answers are not clear, when we are weak and we are saddened in heart and in spirit, he is our strength. And we have victory because he's always present to help no matter the problem or the situation. So through this vigil, we proclaim victory. We proclaim wholeness. 
We proclaim healing. We ask for your continued prayer for all of those who were injured. We also ask that you keep in prayer the family of Chance Wilson, a 2013 graduate of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University who played football here at the university. We ask that you continue to pray for victory in this circumstance. Thank you. Good evening, Bulldog family. It is with a bitter, bittersweet feeling that I greet each of you this evening. It's bitter because of the actions that took place in Panama City. However, sweet because we aren't here mourning over any of these young ladies today. We are ever grateful to God for sparing their lives as well as those young people who were wounded. I ask that each of you remain positive and stay prayerful for our fellow Bulldogs as they recover from this terrible accident. I challenge each of you to come together as we never have before and encourage the family and friends of our fellow Bulldogs. We are many in number, race, religion, and size, but we are one Alabama a and University. Tonight, we stand strong to let the families, friends, and Huntsville community know that we are one Alabama a and University family, and one hurts, we all hurt. But when one is healed, we are all healed. Thank you. To our sisters, you are all angels in disguise, full of intuition, intelligence, and all around wise. Always giving and helping through the good and the bad, you all are the best sisters we ever had. If we had one wish, it would surely be to give you all as much as you've given us. Though we put our relationship through some cloudy days, you all have been our sunshine in so many ways. Through trials and tests right by us, you all stood and gave us your hands whenever you could. Thank you so much to our sisters, our friends. Our gratitude for you has no end. <laughs> we are all praying for you and by your side, just like you've been by ours. Hang in there, and God will make a way out of no way. And we love you, continue fighting like we know you can. Our classmates, our friends, our family, but most importantly, our survivors, we love you. <laughs> there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's rising up to break every chain 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 break every chain, break every chain. I hear the chain Falling. I hear the 
university hymn to close, we ask for everyone to stand and sing along as we close with the university hymn. The lighting, the candle lighting is for unity. To, know, to show that we are united and we are one. All of our fellow Bulldogs are one. All of our close out in a word of prayer. Again, thank you guys for coming out uh, and showing support to the families of these victims. Amen. God, we thank you for what has happened. God, what has transpired here tonight. God, we thank you that this was so much more than just a ceremony, but God, this was an event, God, where uh, your glory uh, was seen and revealed, God, that from the speech to the poem to the song to the prayer to the singing, everything, God, all for your glory. And God, we thank you, God, that as we pray, God, for healing uh, for these victims, God, I thank you, God, for comfort for the families, God. I thank you, God, even at night, God, uh, as they sleep, God, that your comfort, your angels uh, surround them, God, in peace and blessing. And God, for every student here, I pray, God, that this would be a message, God, that uh, what happens here on this earth, God, this is a short time and we're living for eternity, God. So I pray that you would put that on our hearts, God, that we're living for something greater than the here and now, God. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you.